Welcome to a CyberReason video. In this video, we'll show you how the CyberReason platform's anti-ransomware features can protect your environment against the Conti strand of ransomware. First emerging in May 2020, the Conti ransomware employs a double extortion tactic. The ransomware operators, also known as the Conti gang, steal and encrypt sensitive files and information from their victims and extort the victims both by refusing them access to the encrypted files and by threatening to publish the data unless the ransom is paid. Let's see how the Conti ransomware version 3 attacks a system with and without CyberReason prevention features enabled. Let's see what happens if CyberReason's anti-ransomware prevention is disabled. We'll execute the ransomware. We can see that it is running, and in a moment it will encrypt the files on the disk. Here are the encrypted files. We also see a ransom note. Now let's run the same ransomware with CyberReason prevention features on. We can see the CyberReason platform not only detected the ransomware, but blocked it so that files were not encrypted. Now let's investigate these incidents in the CyberReason UI. First, we'll go to the malware alert screen to see the alert that was triggered when CyberReason prevention features were turned on. Here we see the file that was identified as malicious by CyberReason's AI detection features. If we click Investigate, we can get more information about the malicious file. We can see the evidence and suspicions that led to detection and prevention, as well as properties of the executable, including creation time and hash. To show that this alert is based on CyberReason's AI ability to detect unknown malware, and not based on any known malware, we'll put the hash into VirusTotal. At the time of this detection, the hash is not in VirusTotal. This is also reflected with the unknown reputation. If your prevention feature is disabled, as shown in the first example where the Conti ransomware was able to encrypt files, CyberReason is still able to identify the activity as malicious and trigger a malop. We can see this malop or malicious operation from the malop inbox. Clicking the malop opens the malop detail screen. Here we see the CyberReason threat intelligence capabilities identified and executable as ransomware. The malop detail screen includes details such as a timeline of the attack, the suspicious activities, in this case some scanning activity and other indicators of ransomware behavior, affected machines and users, and more. From the Process tab, we can select the process itself and investigate further. We can see and navigate the process tree, view the associated suspicions and malops, as well as a list of events. In this case, as we saw in the first demo, the ransomware executed and the ransom note was actually generated. Information on machines, loaded modules, connections, scanning activity, and more is also available from this screen.